Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Bragio. Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. Who clearly didn't do his hair because he's wearing a hat. I was going to wear a hat. hat. No, it's it's two reasons. (laughs) Let me give you the long story logic to the reason why Ben is wearing a beanie. So A, it's the weekend. Mm. And I don't like to do my hair, put product in my hair every day. Because... Mm. My, it's the weekend for the hair as well. Yeah, my hair gets some time to relax, okay? So that was reason one as to why I'm wearing a beanie today. Uh, reason two is because we've been out playing Pokemon. And I thought it was going to be a lot colder than it was today. It was a lovely day today. It Not was much a lovely wind, day. very sunny. I showed up in a full Udi. I'm like, oh, it's not that, it's not that cold. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's broad like, daylight. <laughs> pretty quickly, I was like, huh, this, this wasn't needed. Yeah. Um, and reason three... I like to change it up, you know, sometimes I like to have a beanie on, sometimes it's chilly. You'll notice the podcast, I've been like going beanie some weeks, I've been going beanie some other weeks. Been going, no beanie, beanie on. I've been trying to change it up through the winter. Um, Hopefully it doesn't change. And date the fact that it is winter. Hopefully it doesn't change the fact that uh, we are listening, uh, to all you listening, that we are wearing beanies, you might have been under assumption that we are not beanieless. Yes. We are beanied. Yes. And mustached. Yes, Phoenix yes, and mustached. Yes, the number one uh, Yu Gi Oh! Uh, mustache related podcast, according to one listener. Um, Remember back when the, the podcast was de- like genuinely devoted to mustaches for like three weeks? Oh, yeah. When I first grew my mustache, the Discord was just mustache memes for like three weeks. So all the Discord questions were like, what, book, what fucking card needs a mustache? We had Jerry oh, Beans made with a mustache this. getting posted everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. This was at one point a mustache podcast. Yes. Don't go back to the podcast before then. Uh, it's a horrifying sight to see me without a mustache nowadays. Anytime that I have to do the, the thumbnail, if Bragg's busy at work and I'm doing the thumbnail, I delete the current image and then replace the image. But the base image is me without a mustache. So I delete oh, so it and go, a, ah! <laughs> for a brief moment, you see baby Ben. Yeah. Well, it's not baby Ben, it's ugly Ben. I'm also not in a flattering position. I'm like, <laughs> really stretching out the face. It's like, ooh, that's a lot of no mustache there. Anyway, uh, veering back to uh, the actual reason you're here, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, ben? Um, pretty shit. Uh, I did not win every single match this week. Oh. I was... Someone so- <laughs> opened the f- four hand traps and full combo it requires to stop Fiendsmith Snake Eyes? No, no, my opponents opened uh, the floodgate that was required to beating Fiendsmith. What was uh, that? Uh, I got shifted, I got drawled. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I sat down to play Lucas in the final round, and he was like, I just played a great back and forth game with Harry. I didn't shift for him once, and I was like, <laughs> well, I'm getting double shifted. Like, the first game I got shifted, my hand was really shit. Like, I couldn't play around and set up someone on board. Game two, I like could set up, but the issue that I have now learned of playing Fiendsmith Snake Eyes as opposed to pure Snake Eyes, your extra X is very fragile, and both games he went shifter special unicorn and i was like fuck okay i have 15 one-offs that are all critically important okay cool awesome um i probably should have actually won the second game i made a misplay um yeah i committed into an access code thinking i'd i just i assumed that i had relinquished anima in my graveyard already oh i don't play relinquished anima at the moment (laughs) so (laughs) I was just going through my combo lines. I was like, okay, yeah, cool. Now I'll have three oh, material here. I can go triple pop into the no Shangri La era and then smack him for game. So you're not Selene either then? No, I Selene in the access code, but that only put two attributes in my graveyard. Oh, oh so you use the charmer as your. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix. So Nightmare Phoenix got rid of his birth, then went into Selene into access code. Oh, what's this? oh no, but sorry. Didn't Deal have the dark like, link one that I thought I had. So I couldn't go pop, pop, pop. I was like, shit. So that wasn't great. Uh, also, I lost Daryl to Kurt. Only opened one hand trap, so he turn skipped me. And then game two uh, opened five cards that all say search, and none of them were Snake Eyes Ash to protect me from the droll. And then I got drolled. And I was like, cool, you win. Game over. Awesome. We're done. So, yeah. Realistically, my losses only took 10 minutes. Well, that's a benefit, I guess. I either 2 0 or got 0 2 and that was my weekend. Then went to a fourth round as well. 
Yes, there was a fourth round. Oh, and four you, round And for a quick uh, peek behind the curtains, uh, you'll notice that Ben has remembered his Tuesday because it has not been a Sunday. Yes. <laughs> yes, there's only been one Locals oh, yeah, because we're right. recording this early. Because I have family things tomorrow. Let me tell you about incest. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along, brag. Well, I was also going to go into incest, sorry. Ah! <laughs> Uh, no. Uh, Is it outside of five minutes so that that doesn't get demonetized? Yes. Be right. Gotta get views in Alabama somehow. Oh, it's always Alabama. I feel like there's I way more bad incest for those guys. Yeah. Like, uh, Missouri does way worse my job. Tasmania. Sorry, do you want me to say it the other way? Missouri? No. Uh, I said it right the first time. Uh, anyway. Brack. Uh, Nebraska. Uh, was, 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 was it okay? It was an okay week, I guess. Brag was at Locals. Yeah. Like, he did. He did. Brag beat Jake. <laughs> pretty much everyone beat Jake. Jake was pretty pissed. <laughs> did I? Yeah. yeah, you did. I remember winning one game. My mills were fucking atrocious. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got, no, I, they weren't. They could, they could not have been worse than when you burst me. Well, yeah. Just because that was the bottom of the barrel does not mean that there's a slightly higher but still quite low part of the barrel. It was pretty impressive. Jake opened two hand traps... Jake sighted two hand traps to stop me. Had them, and I was like, damn. He's, he's stopping. Wait, me. what hand traps did I have? I don't... I got like stuck on just a poplar. I think that was you. You did that to yourself. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you no. opened Sorry. double poplar. I had poplar four hand traps. Ah. No, double poplar, triple hand trap. And you so, had a veil or something. I had nothing. Oh. <laughs> I know some... I don't, I don't have anima in my deck. So oh. that, that's, that's, I can't combo on that anymore. Oh. Um... I, I'm gonna do a slight change to my deck. I'm gonna I'm gonna side deck an extra card. But anyway, before we keep talking about my week, go back to his week. Yeah. Uh, d- 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 yes, yeah, so I got. What's temp- your play? Vamonica. Yes. Uh, it is so gimmicky. I, I I love it, but it's also it's too gimmicky to operate in a tournament sense. Because yeah, it's just oh, Tempires is attacking. Okay, which I mean, it could quickly like. If the board was set up, it could almost get around Tempai because it, it has a few attack negations going for it. But you also have to set up. And there is no way to set up when okay. Tempai is Tempaiing you. So you're getting hit with hand traps on the way there? Yeah. Uh, depending on the build. Yeah. It was, um, oh, it was Shift, yeah, it was uh, Thim. Might have been Shift of both games, possibly. But it was not pretty. It was not pretty. Uh, the Yubel match was annoying. Oh. Phantom of Yubel, I should respect. I should respect it less. You thought it was an Omni Negate. I'm is like, I, I got ready to screw. No, it's a monster negate. Oh, I don't think it does monsters. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, Bragg was playing around an Omni Negate. I don't need to be like, oh, okay. I'm like, oh, wait, what? You've got no spell and trap negation? Okay, so, I mean, all my deck is spells. Cool. Don't don't take note of that. Uh, so what are they going to do? Side anti-spell? The one oh, of them that they oh have? Oh my god, anti-spell. Can you... Pl- so if you were to use the monster effect to set it in pendulum scale, well, don't set it in pendulum scale, place it in pendulum scale, that can't be done on any spell, right? Yes, it can. Effect to set, effect to place. Yep. Cool. It's the same way that um, so I don't give a shit about any weather spell. painter places yes, yeah. their spells and traps into the zones. Guys, I lost a mustache here. Oh, no. I struck my mustache and a hair came out. Put an envelope and we'll sell it on eBay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the Patreon ten dollar bonus is mustache hairs. Males. I don't have that many mustache hairs. <laughs> uh, for the amount of people who are paying the ten dollar pa- Patreon, yeah, for a month, that's a lot. That's m- m- so yeah, mustache hair and a common. If you value us the same as Netflix, let us know. But I doubt it. And then Master Jewel sucks. I would just, ugh, it's so rough at the moment. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I stopped playing. <laughs> yeah, new season though. <laughs> uh, my week. Uh, so still playing to you because uh, I currently don't give a single fuck about the format. Um, although it is beginning to annoy me that I can mill so horrendously badly. Jake was like, I've got this in the bag. I never said this. Special. <laughs> you would... looked so confident. No. When he, no, no, he no, no, no. You shut up. Thing. You shut up. You shut up. No. He My so thing confident. was, I actually could play the game. You didn't set up the full fucking board, yeah. so there was a glimmer of hope. He was what like, What did my deck do? <laughs> <laughs> so Idiot. He activates Triple P, adds 
Uh, Ron, no, you had Reinhardt. Rhino Heart. Because you already had the Sheeran. Did I? And then you activate the Sheeran. I was like, oh, he's not normal summoning the Rhino Heart. He discards Mally. I'm like, oh, fuck. This is... I am definitely losing here. I do not have enough hand traps to stop this. Anyway, he mills to Mally and a shit spell. I was like, oh. Well, I won. Awesome. Yeah, because then I think you had a Vela for the Rhino. Yep. And an Ogre for the Time Thief. Yeah, you tried to battle phase Time Thief to kill me, and I just ogred it. It wasn't to kill you, it was just to set up a board. <laughs> I think if that resolves, you genuinely kill me. Uh, I don't think you're right. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, um, currently not giving too much of a fuck about the format. I'm not entering any of the um, OTS champs unless one happens to come to the store. I just There, there is. There it's is. in two weeks. At our store? Yes. yes. Oh, I was unaware of this. Yeah, it's on the same as the, all the other ones. I was about to pre register for another one, and then the uh, luckily I saw the Facebook event for the Wollongong one. I'm like, oh, thank God. Yeah, so I was yeah, going to go to the store and ask if we were getting it, and then you put it on Facebook, and I was like, oh, sweet. I was unaware of this. Uh, so I may need to put in some effort, as it turns out. <laughs> this is live reaction to me needing to put effort in. Uh, yeah, we'll work that out. Um, so yeah, I guess next week will be different, because it has to be. It's <laughs> the week after this event. What's, what's he going to play? Yeah, I know, but I have to prepare next week what's for the week play? after. What could you play? Oh, in some respects, the world is my oyster. In other respects, I still don't fucking care. I'm completely changing my sideboard. I'm pretty happy with my main deck. I'm completely changing my sideboard. So we'll see how that goes. For Monica. Huh? Uh, and then, yeah, uh, I still can't play Master Duel currently because I still haven't set it up on my Switch. So... Yeah, no idea what's going on in there. But there's one way to find out. News. Uh, as of the 29th, there was an update for Master Duel. Uh, is so, the third ban list? No. Uh, so we get a new solo mode. Uh, this one is mm. for the Fabled. Yes. Uh, the, unironically using Lurie. In the terminal world gate thing, so you've got to unlock it through there, which is annoying. Yeah, true. You can't just skip ahead through to Fabled. You have to do the Gen X and the Naturia and the uh, x Sabers. I'm not already through it because I wanted to just do the x Sabers, So I did the rest of them. Yeah, but x Sabers were relatively... Oh, well, x Sabers No, because you've got Naturia after that. Yeah, but which I, is, I like which is yeah. So I just did the x Sabers. Yeah, yeah, but I will say, like, I haven't played through this one yet. Usually I have, and I can give you, like, a heads up, but I haven't yet. But with Naturia, they gave you the most recent wave of support yeah. which was very different so hopefully it's like that with this one because fable did get a bunch of support relatively recently which makes them good to play in x sabers they could have given you the most recent support because i don't know when the last time that they got a card was oh i mean it was probably the tcg release what didn't we get tcg exclusives for x sabers wait way back when yeah yeah yeah, yeah I got... think that's the most recent wave of support that X Sabers has ever got. a link? I thought the DTs they got what after that point. <laughs> did I dream a link in you the did. in the time where they uh, bloody? Oh no no no! Them? Sorry, you're right. They did get a link. It's called Isol. <laughs> <laughs> even not that many... is the most recent support they've even gotten, and even then, warriors. goodbye. No, they're beast warriors. Yeah, all beasts. There's a beast warrior. Yeah, there's, well, there's, there's a couple of warriors, but the beast warrior is actually yeah. great. The Beast Warriors are the good part of the deck. No, no, no. I'm the saying that there is a generic Beast Warrior link, but it's not oh. a generic piece of support at the same level as Electromite or Crystron and Halka Fibrax. Yeah. I would have sworn it was in that same pack. Nope, doesn't exist. Anyway, uh, so usual rewards for this. Uh, so obviously you get 200 gems if you complete it with your own deck. There's some sleeves. There's an icon. Uh, I don't know what monster this is. Uh, Leviathan. Although Leviathan? Although it doesn't look particularly Leviathan-y. Oh, it we're going to get... it to be more snack-like. We're going to go in the... It looks like that, a reskin of Golden Lord. It kind of does. It looks like Redhead... Batwoman... Hmm. Looks like Batwoman... Oh, yeah, it does. Golden Lord. Yes. Um, but then you also get a mate. Uh, this one, I can't Chihuahua. remember what its name is. Uh, yes, the fabled Chawa. Chawa. <laughs> um, also, though, we um, obviously had the release... Of the uh, Dragon Major, Dragon Mage Magia, I think Master. Really hard to pull. In Master Duel. Maybe. 
we can craft it. No, it's not craftable. Are you lying? I feel like you're lying. Oh, you're definitely always lying. lying. I've lived on the muscle in three weeks. So yeah, anyway, uh, to celebrate uh, the recent addition, there are Dragon Mage Master Magia sleeves. Um, so then in the pack as well as that, um, they've got a few other sort of heroic boss monsters. Um, Dragon Spirit is in there. Rumble's um, coming back? God, no. Uh, Utopia Dragon Air is in there. Uh, Hero Lives, Super Poly, Bingo Machine, and then obviously the recently limited Heavy Storm, as well as the recently unlimited uh, Snatch Steel. As well as Toy and Box. And the Toy Box engine is also in there. Um, anything interesting? No, not really. Uh, and is that it for the releases? Oh, and then we got the uh, newest of the uh, Triad Duels. This one has Respect Play in play. Which I think is, you have to show your hand at all times. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and then we also get a new uh, icon surround, a deluxe icon surround, the neon sign. Many of the can't things... Can't wait for the neon sign archetype to release. I know. I can't wait for sunglasses and lemon wedge. I, I always get so thrown off that it's like, we're in the middle of winter and you just get all this marketing that's summer. It is so bizarre, isn't it? Um, so that is where Master Duel's up to, maybe. Uh, again, haven't been on to check. Uh, but in the last couple of weeks, we obviously had the WCQs for NA and Europe. Uh, so we gave a bit of a recap on Europe uh, last week when it was halfway through. Uh, we do have obviously the results for that. So top 64 is as follows. 49% Fiendsmith Snake Eye. 14% uh, uh, Tempai Dragon. 12% Fiendsmith Yubel. 6% equal parts ritual beast, uh, ritual just full stop. Although I think that, oh, I think that was a typo, but I can't remember what deck it was supposed to be. Runic ritual beast? Runic, yes. It was supposed to be, where it says ritual, it's meant to be runic. Oh, okay. Uh, and then 3% memento and 10% other. I'm impressed it was 3% memento. Yeah. I mean, three, three people wanted to learn the deck's not consistent enough to last an entire event. Entire event. I mean, to get to top 64 with it, though. But if, yeah. but if there's 100 people playing Memento, surely one of them's going to get lucky enough to be consistent. True. You win enough die rolls. That map. Apparently they don't play the 5 to 8 trap or whatever the fuck. Which is wild to me. Like, I get why. But also, kind of not, because no one's running the spell and trap removal that really deals with it in a way that can't be negated by it. What really matters is that Dinkabui topped again. I can't remember what with. Like, it was uh, something cool. He was Ritual Beast, right? Was he? Ah, I don't know. God, I don't want to deal with oh, Ritual wait, Beast no, again. No, 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 no. Um, I oh, know because there's two Dinkers, isn't there? Yes, yes, yes. I can't remember if he was the Ritual Beast Dinker, which may or may not be correct, or if he was the uh, Magical Musket Fiendsmith. That is that. That is what Dinker Boy was playing. Yes. Yeah, there you go. See, I respect that. I don't respect um, Ritual Beast. Why not? I just I hate him. I always have. A stupid dolphin. <laughs> Which, I don't even think they play. I don't like looking at it. I don't like looking at any of them. Poor ritual beasts. Yeah. They, they deserve some love. Um, but uh, trumping all expectations for the uh, Europe WCQ. Maybe your expectations. Everyone's expectations. Mm. Uh, the finals was, in fact, not like America, where it was a Fingsmith Snake Eye Mirror out of a top six of eight uh it was in fact ritual beasts your favorite versus tempai also my favorite uh so no, I, I like tempai um i just I, don't have. i can take or leave tempai bray goes tempai yeah i mean i to my name i don't know where the cards are i, <laughs> I think i lent some so you I, lent some and I gave them back <laughs> yeah but oh, no i think God. i've lent them since uh, oh i've got to dig up horace to who you say it's that person <sighs> um i mean i mean i have to recall them soon trident's almost out in we almost got that trident dragon reprint five weeks what's your dragon coming in again quarter, ten. See, it's a quarter century in the tin oh is that only four weeks to the tin yeah it was the start of september wasn't it Ugh, let's have a look do you no, remember yeah i think it was the was oh yeah we get to run that gimmick again oh my god i've done it every year 
then, I mean, that gets us demonetized right away when I change the theme to that. <laughs> Which we still will. Actually, I'll probably just do it on the Spotify version. Or yeah. iTunes, wherever you listen to it, or Apple Music, whatever it's called now. It's not called iTunes anymore, is it? Apple Music. No, Apple, yeah. iTunes is well dead. It's Apple Podcasts. It's a separate app. No respect for what made them. Apple, you disgust me. No one wants to buy their music anymore. It's true. Mm. I mean, in physical media, I will. Yeah, I'll buy a vinyl. I am buying a fucking song on iTunes. I think I own one album. Anyway. Is it the U2 album? I own two albums. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> one um, of them definitely wasn't because the oh vinyl album. Oh, God, it's on the 20th. Oh, fuck, it's, it's ages yeah, away. It's, it's a while away. I was going to say, I don't think it's early September. I don't know why I, think I thought it's it was late. the 7th, but no. Oh well. Yeah, no, still quite a while. Um, but yeah, uh, looking at the Tempai uh, list, it is, uh, rather than going for the heavy hitting hand traps to try and stop them building board, it's more like, no, no. Well, assuming they don't drop shifter. No, no. Uh, build a board. Uh, and then I will Rageki, Dark Hole, Lightning Storm, uh, Duster, uh, Droplets. Risky. Well, it's either one or the other, right? Yeah, but you have hand traps in the... F- oh, there are no hand traps in the format. You have FTKs in the format. You do, but, like, like they, you can side, you can side them. And, like... Yeah, but it's Bah... Good. No, not Bahamut. Magnemut is, like, the freest of hand traps for that deck. It's a shame it's a one, but... It is free. Not that free, though. You'd think it'd be freer. Is it not freer? Free it feels freer. Bird, it's pretty good. Yeah. Like it, oh, and then they also yeah. have Malchami. <laughs> the remaining three Malchami. Yeah, why not? Many of the draws. Um, and then, yeah, America, uh, top five of the top eight decks were Fiendsmith, Snake Eye, and it was a Fiendsmith, Snake Eye mirror for the final. So, hooray. Um, we move on. So, uh, I have no we've. Issue with this. Of course you don't. Um, but we're not allowed to talk about two gimmick, this because you don't want to ignore it. Two um, gimmick puppets in top 64 for America. So, probably Tempai probably should respect it. Yeah. You need to respect the deck. There'll always be two PP all equals playing it. Yeah. It's the rule of two. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so we have the uh, Championship Japan Osaka 2024 uh, prize, well, some of, of the prize support being announced. Uh, so they get entry mats, which are themed around Centurion, mm-hmm. um, this, and a mat and a uh, promo version of uh, one of the Centurion cards. I couldn't tell you which one. I'd... Stand up. Rise up. Oh, hang on. I can tell you. Wake up. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. Um, Stop keep throwing out things that ended in up. Obviously, the card is cool. Getting a promo version of that. Uh, the mat looks pretty nice. Mm. The sleeves are garbage. <laughs> the sleeves mm. are so bad. Uh, but more importantly, uh, for the who's it for? You can, uh, whoever, you can buy it. Oh, it's just a you buy purchase. It for 40 bucks. Yes, uh, so they get... I'm buying this play map when you go to the Japan. The oh, yeah. Day. Oh, yeah. So they get a promo version of Fiendsmith Lacrima. Uh, 100 sleeves uh, with the apparent emblem of Fiendsmith. Um, I suppose it's kind of like uh, Gold Pride. Like you yeah, Gold Pride. Wouldn't have Woo! noticed it until pride, it brought up to you. Uh, and then the mat featuring the new level 4 and obviously engraver. Uh, so I yeah, I imagine to be our regional new pattern. level four. How reductionist! I can't remember what its name is because it's not a Fiendsmith monster except by text rather than name. Yeah, I don't know a name either. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, not that we, not that it's been translated correctly yet. True. We don't know what it'll end up being, but when do we ever? I don't think anyone knew totally awesome was coming. Yeah, but that was great. Yeah, I'm so happy about that. Well, Engraver... Actually, yeah, I fucking love it. It's called Totally Awesome. Did you always, though? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the original subject. Day topic. one. Not Tree Toad. It's totally awesome. Tree, I mean, Tree Toad never made, never made sense. Well, I mean, oh my God, this is like eight years old now. <laughs> uh, and then... Birthday week. Hmm? It is birthday week for the pod. Ah. Yeah. We mentioned it last week. No one's actual birthdays. But yeah, so to celebrate, we are retreading the Tree Toad talk. Are we going to talk about Lynx destroying the format and making it too slow as well? And get nude. I mean, I'm not doing that. That's what we did. 
I DUEA wasn't, I wasn't releases in about three weeks. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, we had the first of the archetypes announced for crossover breakers. Uh, we now have the second in, I'm pretty sure this name won't be what we end up Ryuge. getting. Ryuge. Uh, Apocrodosis. Ryuge. Or Ryuge. Uh, Apocrodosis, I should say. That's, that name is completely incorrect, drawn from nowhere. If it's called that, they've uh, hit gold. Just call it Ryuge. Uh, anyway, uh, so I the... I will call it Kira. <laughs> I will call it Steve. Actually, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So call the entire archetype, Steve. So um, basically, there's four monsters at this stage that all revolve around. Um, well, the three main deck monsters all revolve around uh, Guanba, the luminous Steve of Starforge. Um, so the theme around the deck is that all of these non-dragons are trying to ascend to then become dragons. So you have uh, one dinosaur, one sea serpent, and one worm. Transform uh, from koi into a beast. Dragon. So, uh, each of the main deck monsters gets an a affiliated spell. Uh, I mean, kind of. One of them doesn't really uh, work that well with the spell. Uh, and then there's also a field spell. Um, at the moment, I can't really tell what the deck's trying to do. It, um, it turbos out the rank 10 from Legacy of Destruction, which escapes me. The Destroyer of Worlds. Oh, that guy. Oh, sure. I mean, yeah, that's a which worm also as kinda, well. Which also, I mean, kind of fits thematically, which is weird. Hmm. Yeah. What's a, yeah, that's his name. I that's still don't get it. What you're, what you're going to do is you're going to put a little uh, dino engine in here mm. and you're going to put a little true king engine in here mm. and then you're not going to have a room for hand traps so the deck's going to suck. Mm. Yeah, that's my concern is that like sure thematically it kind of makes sense that they're all like pseudo dragons kind of thing and they're all trying to tutor out a dragon but at the moment there's nothing that really links them that well together. That and even though the dragon is very interesting and Ritual summons itself from face up extra deck if I remember correctly. Yes. Correct. Which is wild. If you've destroyed a certain number of things from memory. Like. Destroyed a total of level 10. I kind of like adding rituals or going this is a ritual summon and having it be in its effect yeah. instead of needing the spell. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels redundant in a sense that, that it has to be a ritual. Like, it could be anything else, really. It could just be a main deck monster. It doesn't really have to be a ritual. Mm. But it just feels like they've just sort of tacked it on. Like, it's nice. It makes it more searchable, I guess. Makes it, leans into the lore a little bit. It's all rituals, isn't it? Is it? More so than a Hime. What are they no, doing? Fuck that Dancing. <laughs> if only she could special summon herself. Um, but yeah, at this stage, it's not looking amazing. No. Nah. But we've in got 10 cards. That, 10 cards usually is a 15. Um, no, it's not. It's only this. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, 6, 7, 8. I think it's only got Oh eight. my god. They're going to get yeah. more support than the so next main sets. Four yeah, main deck, five, six, wow. seven, eight. What were the abandoned nine. archetypes nine. again from the deck build pack? And I think all of them are getting support. I uh, know, but from the last deck build pack, but, I mean, from the one before the one I like, didn't we, didn't we abandon them? Oh, I, I can't remember what they are. Because one was Centurion. No, 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 the one before the Centurion one. Oh, Christ. What was before well, Centurion? Isn't it Vanquish Soul? Vanquish yeah, Soul, uh, the Nouvelles. Yeah, did Nouvelles get... They got a second round, but, I think, but it wasn't amazing. And they didn't, yeah, they got nothing after that. Valmonica. Yeah. No. No, um, oh, Christ, what was the other one? Was that the one with the singing, the singing people? Was, yeah, Valmonica was the other one, wasn't it? No, Valmonica's with the Centurions. I thought your deck was with the Centurions. There's my deck. No, what's they're, the other they're one? They're saying the same thing. Uh, what's the other look, look. one that's like Valmonica? Oh, I mean, yeah. The, the, the that's Sulphur Court. Harpsichord? Court? Yeah, Sulphur Court. That thing. Yeah, that's what I was that's saying. The, the singing ones. One. Yeah. yeah. That got more support. Did it? They all I more think support. chiefly because it has women in it. Well, never mind. I, I was on the impression that one of the deck build packs was abandoned. So if I ever see anyone complaining about those cards not getting support, take it up with them. They're saying it got support. I'd like to point out that it's been several months and we still haven't heard any of those animes coming. Yeah, they keep hinting at them though. They were in the streams, like as like the ads in effect. I mean, it looks like they. This is just 
where they're going to draw their artwork from. It's actually not going to be out of maze. It's just going to be, oh, this is all the artworks you're going to see for the next three years. Yeah, just screen caps. Hooray! Uh, oh, playing washboards. Oh, God, don't tell me that. Um, Fuck, that's there. That's so bad sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes we're like, they don't even use a high-res video. They just oh, screen just, cap fucking 720p. It's like a proxy. <laughs> <laughs> the... The Star Trek that I bought the first, when I first played Weiss, it was like the Batman Ninja. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was that literal like... 720 screen caps. Which makes no sense because it would have come from a comic book and where you would have been able to no, get there's, high there's res. A movie. There's a movie. I know that, but there would have been a comic. For Batman? Surely. Batman Ninja? Ninja? Surely. Not in that style, I think. All I know is it was dog shit. Let me know when there's a Batman 66. 20 minutes, by the way. Moving on to questions. Oh, cool. So, uh, if you wonder where, we do have a link for our Discord in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, you keep doing that even though you have no... <laughs> no vision to ever, like, Photoshop in, like, a link for Discord. Below the video is where the link is. I understand the that, description. but then you do this, and it, just, whatever. The description is down there. Anyway, yeah, uh, our okay. first uh, question yeah. this week, I believe, is okay. from a Sorry. new uh, member of the Discord, uh, hmm. Clark Six Foot Two. Hi, Clark Six Foot Two. Uh, so, how many engines do you have to throw into a deck to make a pile? Uh, for example, in the EU WCG, Berlin was a top eight Rescue Ace, Snake Eyes, Diabell Star, uh, plus something else archetype. Uh, or a deck rather. Uh, whenever he's on stream, he mentioned he just called it Rescue Ace. <laughs> uh, should it be Rescue Ace or is it Rescue Ace Pile? It's five decks. Five decks is what it requires. At which point you call it 60 cards and then you name three of them. Plus, like Rescue Ace, Snake Eyes, D Bell Star, kind of all like centrals around the fact that it's fire. So yeah. if it had some, like another two or three random sort of engines in there, sure. The Rescue Ace, uh, the Snake Eyes Deer Bell Star is just there to feed the Rescue Ace. So you, realistically, if it's a five card, you'd call it 60 card Rescue Ace something, something else. I did have a theory, though, the other day. You can play a five card Rescue Ace engine that generates any Link for. Oh, cool. <laughs> Bragg would have loved to have known this months ago. <laughs> and he was like, what's a good Rank 4 engine? But link for. Oh, Link, link for. for. I mean, there's heaps of decks that have a good link for it. Yeah, but you can just, in 60 cards, you just play the five cards. If you draw Hydrant, off you isn't, go. Isn't, isn't there like any link for it engine in OTK with um, Phoenix and Zeal Zelantis? Yeah, you have an extra card. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, if it's a one more link. extender. One extender. Hmm. I mean, I go to Logan. Sent, so Logan's last list he sent me. So it's called yeah. Melodious Light Sworn, right? But it also has Dangers and Destiny Hero. Would you... But some engines just do get relegated of like, oh, you're playing Light Sword, of course you're going to have Dangers. So you don't really put that... Even though it's an engine, you don't, you don't mention it. Or is it an extender? Are extenders an engine? I think to call it a pile, it has to be five decks, or uh, five, five archetypes. So this is only four, so and sure. And no archetype can have more than ten cards in the pile. Hmm. Well, this this constitutes that, and it gets called Melodious Light Sworn. Uh, but all the, deck he didn't. the main thing that you have to consider, like putting the deck list aside, is that it's a Logan deck. So, yes. by nature, it's a pile of dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> that he'll still X1 with. Oh, yeah. And it's mainly because he's better at reading people than anything. You reckon? No, he's... He just plays a bunch of cards that say, oh, you use the hand trap, I'll do this now. Yeah, so you but gotta, he's... you got to throw like three hand traps at him to like fully end his turn. He'll either take one hand trap, and then he will pretty much scoop. Or he'll take three hand traps, and he'll still have kind of something there. And then you've got to try and break it with the rest. Next question is from 6 out 6 Five's a pile. 
Uh, so this is a rehash of a question from last week because uh, we asked for some clarification. Uh, so which archetype is the most absurd that you really enjoy playing? By absurd, he means uh, silliness slash jankiness or breaking the norm. Not power ceiling. Combo ability is fine if it doesn't get you very much. Um, for his example, he believes rank 10 trains is hey, absurd. Hey. Um, you shouldn't be able to get to such a high level monster so easily. Yeah. Well, I mean, Double Star kind of annoys me in that way of like level sevens used to be so hard to go with, and like there you go, oh, level eights are just easy to summon, so I'm gonna have to go with that. I'm thinking of Dragon Rules here, and then there's just oh no, just almost any level you can all special summon out. My answer is that Standing Dog Mary FTK. <sighs> of course it is. Isn't that Ben? Uh, no, that is good. A couple cards away. <laughs> Because it used to be your resolve wants to get your resolve reasoning. Fairly sure that's in a shot. Um, yeah, resolve wants to get your resolve reasoning, and you just win. Yeah. Um, for my absurd deck, um, there was a point very briefly uh, on Dueling Book, which shows how long ago it was, that I had a uh, Metaphys combo deck put together. Uh, the sole reasoning for that deck existing was the fact that um, Metaphys Ragnarok was a tuner, so you could then just go into Hauk lines and do sh oh, yeah. shit. And like it had some Dragon Link stuff in there, like that was a pile yeah. of dog shit. But it was very fun, but it only existed on Dueling Book, uh, and even then, because it was on Dueling Book, there may have been parts that weren't 100% legal, uh, but I never played them against anybody, so it was fine. I literally just sat there because I couldn't deal with dealing with people on Dueling Book at a certain point. And I just sat there doing Metaphys combos in the solo mode. Oh, yeah. Sure. It's very enjoyable for me. Um, I'm just, I'm struggling to think still of absurd. Like, any of my decks are just all kind of basic bitch. They, they do what they say on the box. I don't know. I feel like uh, Scrap Snake Eye was pretty up there. I'm just doing the Zelantis thing. It's just like this make monsters. Yeah, but like to a person from the outside looking in, you won the die roll and you're like, normal summon Raptor. They'd be like, what the hell's going on here? And I was like, this is a Snake Eye combo. Snake eye, <laughs> yeah, this is full Snake Eye. <laughs> Um, but that does conclude us for this week. Uh, not many questions, not much news, but um, yeah, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll have a lot of news because it'll be a bad list. And it'll be worlds. Uh, but thank you all very much for listening and watching. Oh, we're going to think about what to do for the Worlds tournament. Hmm? We're going to think about what to do for Worlds tournament. So this week is set? Yeah. We haven't released, I haven't released the Worlds ban list yet. Yeah. Yeah. We're supposedly getting the Worlds promos. So. Because everyone's qualified. Everyone, yeah. Announce it. Get off your tush. Um, yeah, where's that ban list? I want to, don't need to cook. I just message Fox to see if he's got the ban list. Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, you reckon they've sent it to the competitors already? Almost certainly. You reckon? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, no, now now that the WC is, so is over for Europe, now they'll be sent. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening along, feel free to favourite. Uh, jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Remember, subscribe for Mustache Hair. <laughs>